Welcome to Living Life. May your time in God's Word help you to become more mature and help you to know how you can be more united with the body of Christ. Friends, uh, I started ministry in 2003, and so this is my 20th year. I began my 21st year in ministry. And something that I was hoping for in 2003 was that, you know, I, I felt that the church saw me as young and saw me as kind of immature. But I thought in time, in a couple years, I want them to see me as mature. But 2003, 2006, 2008, 2010, the years just kept going by. I made transition after transition, but I still felt that the church saw me as immature. And there will be times, if I'm honest, when I would look in the mirror, contemplating my choices and thinking about my character and feeling immature. And even today, there's a part of me that feels immature, that people see me as immature, and I see myself as immature. And there is a frustration within me and I wonder, when can I know that I'm mature? When can I say that I've hit that level? When I can know that I am the type of leader that others should follow? Friends, if you have that frustration in your heart, if you're longing to be considered mature in your eyes or in the eyes of others, may it be that you can receive wisdom from today's word. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 through 16. But to each one of us grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves, and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of Him who is the head, that is, Christ. From Him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. In the middle of today's passage, in verse 13, we see this phrase, become mature. And to me, that sounds like you're crossing some sort of finish line. You can finally say, I've become mature. So I underlined that phrase, become mature, and I wondered, what does this passage tell me is the road to being able to say I've become mature? And so we go back to the beginning of the passage to verse 7, and we discover that to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. In verse 8, we're told that Jesus is like a general who has conquered the enemy and has gathered the spoils. And these spoils might be like spears and swords or armor. And he divides them and he gives them to his people. And because Jesus is victorious, he gives us this new and great equipment. And what that equipment is for is described to us in verse 11. It says that Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and the teachers. It's saying that God, through Jesus, gave these spiritual gifts, this ability, this calling to 
these particular people so that they would equip the rest of the church for works of service so that the body of Christ would be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, and then we become mature. The thing that I realized as I was thinking about today's passage is my question is always, when can I say that I'm mature? But the secret is, maturity is something that we become together. As I use my gift, and as you use your gift to pray for, talk to, counsel, bear with, encourage, advise. And as we do all this work together over time, we become more unified, we become more knowledgeable, and then we become as a group mature. There is no maturity without all of us becoming mature. Crossing the finish line into that state of maturity is not something I can do by myself. That thought of wanting to distinguish myself as more mature than you, that is an immature thought. The only way that I can be mature is to long for following the calling of God on our community's life so that together, as we serve one another and serve God together, we all become mature as we use all of our gifts to build the body of Christ together. Friends, may it be that this is good guidance for you, that instead of wanting to be considered mature for yourself, that you would begin to change that question and ask God, God, what can we be doing as a community so that we can be mature in your sight? The Christian life is not a personal project to show that you're better than the person you used to be. The Christian life is a group project where we, by loving each other, relying on God, and celebrating God's gifts so that we can serve one another, it's through those things that we are able to experience the point of Christianity where we can have unity in celebrating what God has done for us and when we can become more and more able to follow all that Jesus taught us to do. And when we do that, we as a community become mature. When we are mature, then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by waves, blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people and their deceitful scheming. One of the marks of people who are desperate to be considered mature, desperate to achieve personal maturity, is that they will constantly be blown and tossed here and there. They will go from one group to another. They will be unable to stay because they will be marked by frustration, wondering, why can't I be what I'm supposed to be? Because they're longing for maturity as a personal achievement. And then they will be like these infants who are blown and tossed here and there. But those who are mature, those who are mature will be able to recognize that God calls us to mature together and that our passion should be for each other's growth together. When we know that we're called to receive this unity and move on towards maturity together, then we will begin to speak the truth in love and we'll be able to say, hey brother, sister, I believe that God is calling us to pray about this and talk about this. As we speak the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. Friends, if you're tempted to leave your community of faith, thinking that's what you have to do to become more mature, friend, may it be that today's word helps you to see that maturity begins with recognizing that you're called to be a blessing to the body 
to ask the body to be a blessing to you. It's only as you recognize your call to this group project that you'll begin to understand what truth God is calling for you to speak with love to that body. And as you have those conversations and prayer meetings, and as you seek God together, there you will experience the growth that allows you to say, hey, we didn't need it, but now we recognize oh, we are mature. And may that joy be yours in the years to come. Friends, uh, more than we want to be considered mature, the Holy Spirit is longing for us to be mature. Let us trust that God is at work, even now, calling people into the body and equipping members of that body and leading the body to particular experiences that will help you to be mature together. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you for the church that you have called us to serve. Would you help us to serve as people who are gifted by you? And would you help us to serve for each other's good, longing for all of us to be made mature so that you can delight as you see your will being done in our midst. God, lead us, and God, would you help us to love each other and to love you as we seek to follow step by step all that you've planned for us to do to become mature. These things we pray in Christ's name.